Welcome to Taking the Color Shoot with Bongi. My name is Bongi Kile Khalakhala and today we are doing a day in the life of a document controller and as you can see I'm working from home once again. The only thing that we're going to be doing differently from the previous video is I'm going to be taking you guys step by step to the processes of everything that I do on most days at work. So today we're going to be doing two things. One is I am going to be sending drawings back to the client. It's drawings that were sent to us. Now they have been redlined and they are being sent back to the client. I'm going to explain everything. Don't worry about it. And then the second one is I'm going to be compiling a report for a different project and uploading it on, um, on their transmitter. Right. For confidentiality purposes, I'm not going to be able to show you everything. In fact, I'm not going to be able to show you anything. But like I said, I am going to be explaining as I go. to explain is going to make sense if you watch the video before this one so please go watch that one if you haven't then come back and watch this one for those of you that don't know what schematic diagrams are i really wish i could show you but i cannot so please google electrical schematic diagrams just so you have an idea of what we are talking about here All right so on this particular project the client was designing their own schematic diagrams then the drawings were then sent to us sent to me we, uh, if the project engineer was not copied on the email, I then send the drawings to the project engineer. This is what I did. I send the drawings to the project engineer who then prints them. After printing them, reviews them. We don't just take them and commence with the work just because we get them from the client. We review them, right? Um, just so if there's something that maybe is not a standard or there's something that is a standard that we're not, we're not going to do the way that they want us to do it, we, we must make concessions on all. As we go on with our day in the lives of whatever, of a document control, I'm going to explain what a concession is. So, but that's, that's, that, but that's not going to be today. So we review them. We make changes and okay, the project and engineer reviews the drawings. They make changes and they mock them up with er with errors, right? And um we then send them to the client after sending them to the client if the client is happy and they approve they redesign the drawings and rev them up if it was revision a it then becomes revision b if it was one it then becomes revision two then we review them again when we get them back if we are also happy then that's when we commence with the work so i start making that's where i start making my electrical master production file All right so um i have here uh vsd drawings i have soft starters i have incomers i have it's about one two three four five six seven seven drawings so what i have to do is to make one transmittal note for all those drawings and then make a review sheet for each drawing before i submit so that's what i'm going to be doing <laughs> So I just filled a transmittal note for all the drawings that I'm going to send. As I said, it's about seven drawings and each one has its own um, document number. So there's a part where I fill the document numbers, its own code, its own, the, camp, the, the, um, the client has codes. So remember on my previous video, I said there's a document register that they give you. It has all the codes for each document. It has all the document numbers for each document. It has all, um, what else? The revision, all documents have revision numbers. So this transmittal note also has that, the code, excuse me, um, revision number, 
the document number description and then i have to write the number of copies of each document and um uh, number of pages as well so uh then i fill in the uh, project number they have a specific project number that they have um they have a specific project number for this project i fill in that and i filled in um what uh, basically what's subject detail so these are red line drawings like i said so that's what i put on there how many documents are there at seven documents so that's what you fill in so this is their standard in that company that's it this is their standard for transmittal notes now i'm about to do their review shit and then i'll tell you right after what it is that i did <laughs> take my charger my laptop charger at work now my battery is low but fortunately work is just across the road but i have to go to that other side because the guards are never this side and they'll never hear me so i have to make time and go take my charger i'm just gonna finish eating this and then we'll go we will go so i just finished i don't know if i've already told you this oh yeah oh no i just finished my first um review shit so i'm gonna make a review shit for excuse me for all seven of my drawings right what i need to put on the, the this company's review shit i don't like that the light is here because now you can see stuff but this company's review shit um i just need to put the contract number because we have a contract they have a contract number and there's an equipment number and all the other numbers but i just have to put uh not applicable and everything that is not applicable on my side um supplier name which is my company uh description uh, document number document title or oh, document title okay and then category code it's the code that i spoke to you guys about the same very same code that we put on the transmittal note then today's date after that i make these pdf all review sheets and all transmittal notes i make them pdf then i send them to the document control of the client right um and copy everyone else who's involved in the co in in the project then that's about it so after this i will take you guys with me to go fetch my charger to go fetch my charger then we do the second part of our day so we'll go in with the second part of our day which is what's the second part of our day the second part of our day which is compiling a report um and uploading it to the portal right okay mm. so I just want to see if I have the codes for um, I speak to myself just to get myself to focus and not to forget what I'm doing Mm -mm. or looking for rather Okay, 
uh, the email I just received is our QCPs, our quality control plans for the whole project. They all have been approved. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've already have them saved on the, um, I already have them saved, saved on the folder. And since there are no changes that were made on it, they were just approved. I'm just going to leave them as they are. So I don't even need to take this. I'm just going to let the project engineer know that our QCPs have been approved and then um oh i have to print them and have him sign wherever he has to sign then that is pretty much pretty much it, much it. okay <sighs> my battery is dying i need to quickly go fetch i need to dress up because i'm only wearing this so i need to wear something and then quickly go to work and take my charger i know i said today's just gonna be work right but i'm tired I'm tired and I decided to make something to eat, so we're going to make it together. Uh, because this is a day in the life of a document controller. Who's the document controller? I, it, it's I. <laughs> anyway, I'm making, I'm using leftover chicken, chicken fillet, me prep. So I'm, I'm making that. I'm going to mix this and then pair it with this. So this is, to be honest with you, when I took this, I thought it was normal spaghetti. I realized only when I got home that no man. I don't think the way in Lawazi is like the pasta. No, I mean the fish, the tinned fish. So I decided, okay, I'll just keep it and then now that I have chicken, I'll make it with chicken. And I got this sauce. It's a pasta sauce. It's a cheese pasta sauce. Um, it's a cheese. It's a cheese pasta sauce. So I'm going to make it with that. And yeah. Let's do it together. So the pasta is already in my in the pot. There's, there's the pasta. The pasta is already there. And in the kitchen where real women are. I'm leave up with that. The chicken. I mix the spaghetti with the chicken. I poured half of this. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I don't know how much I should pour. So I'm just gonna stir, and when I feel it is enough, if it's not enough, I'll add. If it's enough, then yay. Come. Decrease, decrease, decrease. I hope you're not seeing my game today. I must say, it's as nice as it looks. It tastes really good. But this thing said, cook for from six to ten minutes. Hey, if you said clean it up to six to ten minutes, so my advice to you would be. So my cooking advice, my cooking advice of this for me to you would be cook it like your normal spaghetti. So what I did is. Uh, what I how I cook my spaghetti is I just boil water, pour it in the pot, let it boil, pour my pasta or the tape pasta or the tape spaghetti <laughs> or this tape spaghetti, whatever you want to call it. I forgot the name. Put it in the water, and then when the water is just about to, when the water is disappearing, I don't know if it's too hot on this because I really don't know what it's called in English, but yeah, when the water is doing that. You can then wash it because it is now ready to it it was so chewy uh, and i kept tasting it but then after i decided to cook it like my normal spaghetti it was perfect what do they say they say bon voyage or do no bon i forgot what they say when 
Bon appétit. Bon appétit. I'm a really good good cake guys, so I'm pretty sure that this tastes good, but see my reaction then here it goes. Oh it's hot. It's still a bit chewy, but it tastes really good. I think I like it like this. It tastes really good. Let me finish eating and then we'll go back to work. Well, I just finished. So I compiled the report and then I compile I did something called the S curve. So we have it we have a table full of all the dates. Um I update the, we update the schedule weekly. So it's filled with all our weekly dates and then it has percent overall percentages of our progress. So I just um go on to that particular date, which in this case was the twenty fourth of of November and i put in the percentages go and change and then the curve was um, automatically changed um then what i do after that is i take the curve no i take the report and then i merge it with the curve then when i finish with that i make the percentage progress report so it's basically there i have let me show let me look at it let me look at it here. There I have another table, yeah. I have another table, which is uh, basically all our MCCs. And then the progress is on documentation, design, procurement of material, and then fabrication. So I fill in those percentages, and then I get a summary of the percentages here, which we then present in our progress meeting in this case it's going to it's going to be tomorrow and i'm not going to be there uh, after that then i upload i upload the progress report the mesh progress report with the s curve and the um, project schedule i then upload them on this on their portal they have a portal where we send and receive everything so you submit it to the portal you upload stuff on the portal you tag the people that are part of that project from their company side and our company side after that that <clears throat> i write as just a bit of message there to say this is what i'm submitting and uh and why am i submitting it could be for approval or for information or for whatever then you write what it is you're doing then you upload and then it uploads in the system then they will get uh messages from their emails that will then take them to to the portal to see what it is that i uploaded so that is it with this project um progress report that i was doing thank you so much for taking time to watch this video i really appreciate you guys and i am going to take you guys seriously next year this is the beginning this is the beginning i am going to do uh, something like this i'm going to take time off from work i'm going to take leave maybe once a month a month maybe once a month just to take content for you guys I don't know why i keep doing that because this is no longer a problem anymore um maybe once a month just to take content for the whole month for you guys because i want i don't want to neglect you so yeah, if you have gotten to this part of the video, please comment with a heart. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, um, just tell me on the comments below that you enjoyed watching the video. Or if you're going to watch this video later, okay, you've already watched the video and you finished it. <laughs> okay, if you saved it and watched it later, please tell me down below. Please comment whatever you'd like to comment. Ask any questions in the comment section. I'm always here to answer them. I make time. I try my best to make time and respond to your messages, guys, as you have seen. Um, from me to you right now, it is goodbye. I will see you on my next video. Take care.